Hi, it's Steve here. Welcome to Sunbuster. And you're obviously looking at tension rafters. Man, have we been selling some lately. And uh, I've had a lot of inquiries about how to assemble it. So I'm doing a video today to show all you guys how to do it on video. Inside the kit, and that's what the kit will look like. It'll say anti-flap box, but inside we've got our tension rafter kit. Comes the bars and it comes with a special tensioner kit which is accompanied by a picture and you'll see here how I've got it set out on, a, on my workbench here all these nuts and bolts are set up just like in the picture so the bar with the pointy end that has a nut cert in the side and the bar with the logo on, which has got the wobbly at the end, it's just got a bolt here. First thing we do is undo the bolt, because what we want to get at is our tongue, which is what it's holding inside. So we undo that fella, and we're going to put it as per the diagram down there in the correct spot. Now when you take it apart, don't let the little washer fall off because it's got to sit there with the washer on. Then we're going to slide out the tongue. We're, going to, we're not going to swap it round like I was tempted to do. And that's going to fit in there. Just like that. Okay. So what we're going to do now is to put that on there like that. And then your tension lever is ready for operation. So that's how it comes off. So this nut with the washer on goes through that end with the washer and then that goes into that nut cert. Like I said, those bolts go into the nut cert. Make sure this little slide here is up a fair way. You get the thick washer, like it shows you here. That goes on the bottom. On the top you get your other nut, which has got the thin washer, and that again is going to go into that nut cert. So the two nut certs are there now, both with the bolts in. And the appliance is pretty well ready for use. Again in this fella here, we're going to put this guy here, that's going to slide in on the top of your finger and there you've got your knurling knob which is going to lock everything into place before you apply the tensioner. That's going to slide in there That's going to slide in there and then it can be locked off but don't lock it off yet. This is a slide here so that you can operate your tensioner. And you can see here with your tensioner it actually goes backwards and forwards as you use it. I don't think there will be any time in your camping history where you'll need to have a bigger angle than that because that is sufficient to put tension into your vinyl roof. The main thing that we have to get right is where this is locked. So the idea is you've already put up your your fittings, you've got the hole on one end, you've got that there locked in up the top. It's only once it's in place then you set that to as I said that angle. Make sure it's fitting nice and tight that's when you lock this in. Once that's locked in, then you can tighten this and you'll see the bar being pushed forward. That's pretty simple, provided you've got everything else set up nicely. You've got the saddle placed in the right position, you've got the hole in your roller tube, and that's set there at 90. That's when you lock this in, as I said before, and 
once you then manoeuvre this thing here, you can see the bar going backwards and forwards, and that's what straightens your roller tube. And that's what we're doing. We're straightening your roller tube, and as that process happens, you're actually putting tension into your vinyl. Well, I wish you luck with that. I reckon that's pretty simple. I try and work on the KISS program, and I hope you blokes have found this introduction on how to assemble a tension rafter helpful. Thanks, guys.